Where are we, in fact? Well, we're in, where is it, Olympia? We're in Olympia for the, for the language festival, right? That's right, yes. And this language uh, is Esperanto. Yes. What is Esperanto? Well, Esperanto is, is an international language. Okay. It's a very, very easy language to learn. Okay. And so it's, if you've learned, say, French or Spanish, it, it's, I mean, it's just incomparably easier. And, and it's a creative language, right? It is, but it was created uh, 140 years ago now. Um, but since then, obviously, it's evolved. It has a, a large community. Okay. And I think one of the things that's fun about Esperanto is that when you learn it, you, you become of a community. Okay. And are there native speakers of Esperanto? Are there people that grow up with it as their uh, first yes. language? For instance, my two sons. No way, really? Yes, well, I always speak Esperanto to my husband, who is Italian, and we met at an Esperanto Congress in Switzerland. Wow. And in fact, um, well, we lived together for 30 years in Italy, now in London, and uh, naturally our two sons speak Esperanto, because that's that, the language their parents speak to each other. That is their first language, and well, they speak English as well. Yes, well, they have three first languages, so Esperanto is one of them. Wow. And would you say Esperanto is closer to English or Italian, or is it somewhere in the middle? Uh, I should say, in terms of vocabulary, I've taught Esperanto both in Rome and in London. In terms of vocabulary, it's easier for Italians, because a lot of words are the same. For instance, the word for a book in Esperanto. Esperanto is libro, okay. which is, well, you know in English from the word library, yeah, yeah. but in Italian it's the same word. Libro, en français. Libro. libro. Yeah. Yes. That's amazing. Yes. Yeah. I've often wondered what, I mean, you must understand the roots of, of many of these words then. Oh, yes, that, well, you recognize a lot of the does, words. Does library, as in book, also relate to liberation, as, that, be, as but, in being free, because if you're educated, you're I don't think the two words are probably related, but in fact, the word for freedom in Esperanto is libera. Okay. Or, that's, or libera is free. Yeah. Freedom is libero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's amazing. And um, li Libra, that's one of the, uh, the star signs. Oh, God. I, <laughs> you can ask me the names of star no, no, signs in Esperanto. All these things will, will yes. be connected uh, yes. uh, somehow. Um, so, can we call Esperanto? A, is it a, uh, a European language? Is it a Romance language like uh, France? No, uh, grammatically, well, it draws on elements of all the European languages. So it's, it's a European language? I would say it is basically, however, it is extremely popular, for instance, in Asia. Okay. For instance, it's a very active Esperanto movement in China, in Korea, Japan, Vietnam. And for people who speak, say, Chinese or Japanese, it's the easiest foreign language to learn. And it's also a great introduction to European languages. Do you think, although it was intended to be a, a lingua franca for the world, has it now been eclipsed by English? Is English the new uh, common language? It is at the moment. One, one has to think that the language which becomes a lingua franca is the language of the most powerful group, okay. which was until recently the first the British Empire, then one could say the uh, American Empire, yeah, yeah, but yeah. now of course Chinese is on its way up. We better learn Chinese. Then. <laughs> so on the other hand, Chinese is a very difficult language. Yeah, okay. So. Um, Esperanto does not have an empire and I suppose in terms of becoming an international language that perhaps is a problem. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and just lastly, when it was created, was there a political uh, goal behind it? Were they well, created as communists? Were they hoping that we'd all live uh, together under no, one it was not to do country? with communism, okay. but certainly the basic idea behind it was the idea of, of international understanding, peace. Okay. And so that that was the reason for creating Esperanto, and it's the sort of, I suppose one could say, the motivating force behind it. I just say that because communism does talk about doing away with national uh, borders and ident identity. Well, that, that's not the aim of Esperanto. The aim is not to become a world first language. Okay. The idea is to become a world second language. Um,
And so Esperanto speakers are usually very interested in languages and are usually very interested in minority languages such as, you know, sort of Welsh or Occitan. Yeah. Or What's Breton. Occitan? What's that? Uh, Occitan is a language spoken, um, oh, I'm not very good at this. I think it's either France or Spain. It's, okay, okay. Uh, One of them yes. yes. Well, look, how, how can I say thank you in Esperanto? Danko. Danko. Yes. Very easy. Right. Danko. Danko very Danko much. Danko